Ikala the elephant liked to wander about, always on their own with nobody around. They would go through the forest and around the bend, but avoided any mountain ascent. Why is this, you may wonder? The answer is quite simple and not a blunder. They would need to eat and eat just to get energy to lift their feet. One day, as Ikala was eating their favorite foods, namely roots, grasses, fruit and bark, they saw the postman, Ansel Artvark. Hello Ansel, how are you? Great thanks Ikala, I have post for you to peruse. It was a letter from Mervyn Mongoose at the cafe. He wanted to come visit on Thursday. Oh my goodness, said Ikala, I'm used to being alone. Mervyn may find me boring like a stone. I'd better order shopping online to make him some scones. The laptop was switched on and tappity tap. Online shopping was done at the drop of a hat. There was tea and milk and for the scones a gram of jam. Ikala sat thinking, that is all fair and well. But while I'm on the laptop, I better look for a recipe to help me bake some scones with a delicious smell. On Thursday morning, the oven was on and Ikala stood baking, but all was not well. There was black smoke coming out of the range and a funny smell. Oh my goodness, what to do, Ikala did cry. I have nothing to feed Mervyn and he's surely nearby. At just that moment, there was a knock on the door. And sure enough, Mervyn was standing on the floor. Oh, Mervyn Mongoose, welcome to you. But I'm afraid I'm in a bother and with baking scones, I don't seem to have a clue. E Carla, my friend, let's not stress. Let's go inside and see your progress. Mervyn peered into the range and gave a little sigh. I'm afraid, Ikala, the scones are badly burnt. I can't deny. But let's not panic. I'll grab an apron and we'll sort this out before you can cry, Macon. Bring me the flour, sugar, butter and eggs. And while I whip up the batter, you can bring me a platter. I'll also need the cream nicely whipped and the jam to be tipped. Oh, Mervyn, these smell delicious and look a treat. I'll pour the tea so we can start to eat. The two friends sat eating and drinking their tea, chatting about this and that until they could both agree. Mervyn, thank you for your help today. You are indeed a true mate. We can do so much more with help from family or friends. Great support I'll always highly recommend. So always remember to offer your help and support. You never know when someone is struggling or feeling out of sorts.